welcome our svm students today we are going to see ac circuit containing pure resistor this topic is in our fourth lesson what is that fourth lesson topic electromagnetic induction and alternating currents electromagnetic induction and alternating current in that lesson we are going to see the topic ac circuits containing pure resistor okay we have a ac circuits symbol we have a ac circuits ac circuits is nothing but circuit which can generate a alternating current ac circuits is nothing but circuits which can be generate a alternating current what means that the alternating current means that has a sinusoidal nature for that uh, ac circuits that's why we are mentioning sinusoidal symbol so we are going to draw that uh, symbol sinusoidal symbol the circle inside the circle what shape of the waveform that ac circuits <coughs> going to generate the sinusoidal shape of waveform that's why sinusoidal shape we are representing this is the symbol of ac circuits this ac circuit is going to connect with the only resistor that's why we are saying pure resistor we know that symbol for the resistor like that we want to tag on that symbol of the resistor that resistor is going to connect with the ac circuits directly we are connecting any resistor if you are taken that has a certain value of resistance we mentioned that may be taken as a r resistance resistor which has a r resistance that is going to connect with the ac circuits ac circuits can generate a alternating current and alternating voltage that voltage we are going to mention mentioned by the symbol small v equal to capital v m sin omega t because our generating voltage is sinusoidally varies that's why ac circuit generating a em of r potential difference can be represented as v is equal to vm sin omega t omega t is nothing but a angle if the alternating circuits one of the example is a generator if we rotate the armature or magnet from the zero angle to 360 degree there we can generate a full waveform for that purpose at the any instant em of generated by the ac circuit can be represented as v is equal to vm sin omega t vm sin omega t so the say v is equal to vm sin omega t this here at that is a equation to represent the at the instant value of the em that's why v is equal to vm sin omega t can be taken as instantaneous alternating voltage the equation v is equal to 
Vm sin omega t is nothing but a instantaneous alternating voltage. Otherwise, we can mention that is a potential difference. In that equation, we have the turn capital V suffix m that is the peak voltage. Peak voltage of this uh, AC value. Anyhow, V is equal to Vm sin omega t is the instantaneous alternating voltage. In that expression, Vm is the peak voltage, that is the maximum voltage for that uh, sinusoidal form. Either that is a positive or negative, as like that uh, transverse wave transverse wave which contains crust and the trough in the crust as well as the trough that maximum point is called as a peak value so like that for our AC voltage Vm is a peak value so this AC circuit if you connect with the one of the resistor and if it is operated it can be Supply a current through this resistor. This AC circuit can supply a current through the circuit. We know that what symbol we are going to use for that current means I. It's a varying current means we can take on a small I. This AC circuit supplying a current through the resistor can be represented in a small I. If this current is passes through this resistor, voltage can be developed across this resistor due to current flows through resistor due to current flows through the resistor which is supplied by the alternating circuit can develop EM or potential difference across the resistor, then potential difference developed across the resistor. The potential difference developed across the resistor can be given by based on that Ohm's law. What is that Ohm's law formula? V is equal to IR. That's why here voltage developed across the resistor can be represented as V suffix R. That is equal to product of current through the resistor and the value of the resistance. Value of the resistance. That's why we are mentioning I into capital R. This is the second increase we can take because the instantaneous EM of this first equation, then the voltage developed across the resistor can be taken as a second equation. Anyhow, in our circuit, we have two components one is the AC circuit, another one is the resistor. If you switch on the AC circuit, it can supply the current through the resistor and develop a EMO. Then the resultant current value we want to calculate. That is at the resultant current means at the instant due to the term instantaneous potential difference. What instant current is developing that is a current passes through the resistor. For calculating purpose we are going to apply Kirchhoff's second law. Kirchhoff's second law is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law. That may also called as a loop rule. That is, for finding that instantaneous current purpose, we are going to apply Kirchhoff's loop rule or voltage rule. According to our Kirchhoff's second rule that is loop rule loop rule, loop rule 
there we are not having a battery only the ac circuit and the resistor that's why there we have a algebraic sum of the emfs that is a lower one and upper one first one is a positive negative means then for the resistor negative positive like that according to that kirchhoff's rule algebraic sum sum of algebraic sum that is means including the sign also we want to use algebraic sum of potential difference differences in uh, in the circuit is zero okay according to our kirchhoff's loop rule algebraic sum of potential differences in the circuit is a uh, zero so because it is a complete one circuit if any point if you take an that point not having a potential difference so that's why we are saying algebraic sum of the potential difference in the circuit is zero so we are going to express that equation for this that is two potential difference we have ac circuits that is instantaneous emo v then plus voltage developed across the resistor but that is in opposite that's why v minus vr voltage across developed across the resistor equal to zero so from this expression we are taken v is equal to vr v is equal to vr these both terms having their values v is nothing but a instantaneous potential difference instantaneous potential difference so for that capital v suffix m sin omega t equal to voltage developed across the resistor that can be taken as i into r so what we want to find at the instant current we want to find that's why we are rearranging the equation for that current i is equal to vm sin omega t divided by r so peak voltage divided by resistance peak voltage divided by resistance we can mention that is peak voltage divided by resistance equal to peak current peak alternating current so instead of peak voltage divided by resistance now we are going to given the symbol peak current so i is equal to im sin omega t this can be taken as a third equation the first equation is instantaneous potential difference second equation is here potential difference developed across the resistor and the third equation is instantaneous current through the resistor this instantaneous current through the resistor can be calculated based on that kirchhoff's voltage rule what they are saying in our kirchhoff's rule for a circuit containing a pure resistor means algebraic sum of the potential difference in the circuit is a zero that is instantaneous emo that is may called as instantaneous potential difference minus voltage developed across the resistor so for that condition we will find find a instantaneous current i is equal to im sin omega t im is nothing but a peak value or maximum value peak value or a maximum value so now we are going to draw the waveform diagram 
based on that expressions v is equal to vm sin omega t and i is equal to im sin omega t that for alternating current it may be varies from 0 to 360 degree i mean that is 0 to 2 pi what happen the values of both current and voltage now we are going to substitute that value theta is nothing but here we are going to take an omega t if omega t equal to angular rotation is zero if you substitute that omega t is equal to zero in our equation v is equal to vm sin instead of omega t we are going to substitute zero what happens this value sin zero becomes a zero then sin zero degree is a zero means em of development is a zero similarly similarly what happens that current i is equal to im peak value sin zero degree that also zero so instant potential difference is zero and instant current also zero for the angle omega t is equal to zero next case we can take an if omega t is equal to angular rotation is pi by 2 angular rotation is pi by 2 this is going to substitute in our both the equations if you substitute pi by 2 in that sign sign pi by 2 is nothing but a 1 so that's why v is equal to vm sin pi by 2 its value this value becomes a 1 that's why the resultant value is vm so at the instant of rotation pi by 2 instant potential difference is a maximum peak value similarly we are going to find instantaneous current we know the expression for the instantaneous current i is equal to i m sin what angle we are going to substitute 90 degree or pi by 2 pi by 2 sin pi by 2 value becomes a 1 so we will get that is a i m then we are going to substitute that angle omega t is 180 degree 180 degree is going to take as a pi if omega t is equal to pi v is equal to v m sin pi what happened the sin pi sin 180 degree is 0 so if it is a 0 resultant value at the instant em of also 0 and we can take on current equation i is equal to i m sin pi we know that sin pi is equal to 0 at the instant current also equal to 0 third case over next we are going to see that the fourth case that is omega t value further we are adding that pi by 2 that will becomes 3 pi by 2 if omega t is equal to 3 pi by 2 that is a 270 degree sin 270 is nothing but a minus 1 you know that is v is equal to v m sin that is 3 pi by 2 so sin 3 pi by 2 is a minus 1 that's why that is a minus vm value peak value but is in the negative sign negative sign similarly i is equal to i m sin 3 pi by 2 we will get minus i m so we have substituted omega t is equal to 0 instantaneous voltage and current also 0 Omega t is equal to pi by 2. Instantaneous EM of that is a potential difference as well as the current also maximum. When omega t is equal to 180 degree, that is nothing but pi. For that, both current and voltage both are 0. After that, we are going to substitute that is angular rotation is a 270 degree. That is omega t is equal to 3 pi by 2. There we will get that 
V is equal to minus Vm, negative peak value. Then I is equal to minus Im. Another one angle we have that we are going to substitute. That is omega t is equal to 2 pi. If omega t is equal to 2 pi, V is equal to Vm sin 2 pi. We know that <coughs> sin 360 is nothing but a sin 0. That value becomes a 0. So, instant potential difference is 0. Similarly, I is equal to Im sin 2 pi. This value is 0. Instantaneous current also is 0. Based on these values, what you are going to substitute in our instantaneous voltage and instantaneous current equation. There we get that resultant value. Based on the values, we are going to draw a waveform diagram. With that phase diagram, what phase relation between current and voltage? <coughs> Directly from our equation we can say. But from our waveform also we can mention both are in phase because of equation V is equal to Vm sin omega t and I is equal to Im sin omega t only we have phase difference is zero no phase difference no phase difference means the two are in phase from our waveform diagram we are going to mention that in phase expression okay we are going to draw the waveform diagram based on this value. So for that, we are representing that x and y axis. In the x axis, so y axis. In our x axis, omega t, that is an independent factor. Angular rotation is independent factor. Based on that angular rotation only, we are getting both potential difference and current. So, that omega t values is the origin, 0. Now, I am going to divide equally for the certain, for our normal shape of our sunny sunny waveform. 0, it is pi by 2, pi 3 pi by 2, it is a 2 pi. Now we are going to tack on that voltage values which is substituted in our instantaneous alternating voltage waveform. So for that we will get this is a maximum value, this is a negative maximum. plus Vm, 0 for omega t is equal to 0 means EMF is 0, omega t is equal to pi by 2, we will get the positive maximum value, further pi if you substitute potential, potential difference, alternating potential difference is 0, then for 3 pi by 2 maximum that is negative maximum, further it is 0, so that is why we are drawing a waveform like this. This is the EMO or potential difference waveform. In our same diagram, we are going to represent that current waveform also. What happened that the phase relation between current and EMO for AC with resistor means both are in phase. That's why that the current value at this point is 0. That pi by 2 means peak current. Pi means current is 0. Then 3 pi by 2, 270 degree. That also negative peak. So we draw that waveform like that. So this equation is, this waveform is a current waveform. So, what is that peak value? This is the peak value that we are going to tap on here. Peak voltage. Same time, the peak current also tap on here itself. 
So at this point, both are zero. Both are zero means both voltage and current. Both are zero. At uh, this uh, pi by two, both are maximum. At that uh, pi, once again, both are zero. At the angle two seventy degree, three pi by two, both has a negative value, max negative maximum. Further, at the two pi angle becomes a zero. So that's why at any instant, if you are taken, that either maximum or that is voltage is maximum means current also maximum. Voltage is zero means that is minimum means current also minimum. So that's why both are in phase. That phase the diagrams purpose. We are going to take on one of this angle. We are taking that vertical upward dot of light. At the instant current, this is. We are opposing I. This point may be taken as an instantaneous potential difference. That too, we are going to take on the phase diagram. Parallelly, we are drawing that phase diagram also. Okay, this is a phasor diagram. From our waveform diagram, we will take on that dotted line at this point that is a omega at a certain value. It is not a particular value. It may be taken a certain value. That's why we are taking on that dotted line here. And for this is for voltage. Another thing for this is a current. Okay. Instantaneous current, instantaneous voltage. From zero angle to certain angle we have rotated. Certain omega t angle we have rotated. That's why we are drawing a line here. What angle rotation that we are going to mention here? Omega t. Initially, this line is along the x-axis. If that line is along the x-axis, means zero angular rotation. If it is started to rotate, it has rotated as certain angle that may represent as a omega t. Like that, we are going to take. So, if you take it like that, this line, in this line, we have both. Current and voltage. Voltage is at the instant. Current here. Okay. This total length is taken for instantaneous voltage. This lines total length is taken for the at the instant voltage. Same manner from origin to this point where the horizontal dotted line is crossed. This is for due to our applied instantaneous potential difference. What instant current is flows in our circuit? That is going. To, this length is taken for the instantaneous current. That the total length is taken as a instantaneous voltage at the position angular rotation is omega t. What angular velocity? It can be rotated means. Omega angular velocity. In which direction it may be rotated? That is rotated in this direction. Then only that line is started from zero angle to further. It can be moves to complete 360 degree. So that's why we are mentioning the rotating direction is this with the angular velocity. Omega angular velocity. We are going to rotating, varying our applied alternating voltage. Corresponding alternating current is flows through our circuit. That is the phase diagram of voltage. So this alternating voltage with the pure resistor. This is waveform diagram. From this waveform diagram, we draw the phase diagram. 
as well as from our equation also we can say both potential difference and current which are alternating both potential difference and current are in phase <coughs> i mean same time or by same instant we get the maximum of both voltage and current or minima of both voltage and current when we are getting that uh, voltage is a maximum at the same instant we are getting the maximum current maximum current when we are getting that uh, minimum value of the voltage at the same instant we are getting our currents minimum that's why current and voltage in our ac circuits with resistors of in phase ac circuits <coughs> containing few resistor means current and voltage are in phase we can say you go through your book there we will recall that we have ac circuits with resistor if you connect the ac circuit with the resistor only and if you operate it the current can be supplied by the ac circuits through the resistor that makes a developing a emf that developed emf can be taken as v suffix r equal to i into r based on our ohms law and uh, want to find that uh, instantaneous current purpose we are applying a kirchhoff's voltage rule according our kirchhoff's uh, voltage rule total potential difference through the closed loop closed circuit is equal to zero so for that v minus vr is equal to zero we are going to take from that we derived that i is equal to im sin omega t then from our equation 1 and 2 that are in phase we can say then we substitute we will get that wave form okay thank you for